according to the reports, you know, the U.S. numbers, they're saying that the pay-per-view sold between 325,000 to 350,000 pay-per-view buys, you know, domestically. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. Bullshit! 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 Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So, look, you know, they they, they released, um, according to Dan Raphael, man, you know, the, the pay-per-view numbers domestically uh, have been released for the uh, Javante Tate Davis versus Frank Martin, Frank the Ghost Martin fight, you know what I'm saying, that just happened not too long ago, you know, and, uh, uh, June 15th, I believe it was, you know, and according to the reports, you know, the U.S. numbers, they're saying that the pay-per-view sold between 325,000 to 350,000 pay-per-view buys, you know, domestically, you know, so that that's, that's not bad, that's pretty good, man, but you know, <laughs> but the thing is that, you know, there's some people that are that are naysayers or haters or or skeptics. You know, they'll say that the the fight has sold less than that. I, I've seen reports saying that they only sold one fifty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand. You know, what I'm saying even less than that by by Rick the Glazing Glazer. You know, what I'm talking about who be glazing it all up. You know, what I'm talking about so <laughs> you gotta these days. Like I said, man, it's funny because I just made a video about this and the sales. Like I don't really care about the sales, man. You know, I care about the state of boxing, man. I'm not here to knock down a particular boxer or big up a particular boxer by inflating or deflating numbers. You know, I just think that you know. It, we we here to cover boxing. We love boxing, man. I know I watched the fight. I watched I watched the Haney Garcia fight. You know, but the the, the the common the common denominator between all of this, no matter which side you're on, who you want to succeed, who you want to fail, you know, the common denominator is that you know all these fights they said they've struggled. You know, um, they said the Queensberry Matchroom, uh, hosted by Big Turk, you know, Turkey Al Sheik over there in Saudi Arabia between uh, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren. They said that didn't that that flopped as far as sales go. Yeah. You know, then then they said they actually did good. You know, and they streamed a lot. You know, illegally too, and then they also say, "Oh man, you know Haney Garcia, that that one didn't do as well as anticipated." You yeah. Know? And then they also say Canelo Munguia didn't do as well as anticipated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and now take Mar uh, Tank Martin, uh, 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 Javante Tank Davis, and and Frank the Ghost Martin, that didn't do as well as 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 they thought it would. So it's like all these sales, you know, people are projecting. You know, they have such an upward trajectory, and then they always say that they fall flat on their face. You know, which which numbers are true? It's up to you. I don't see why Dan Raphael would would would, would make it up. You know, but but the, but the fact of the matter is that, you know, maybe maybe we should come to the reality that maybe boxing on pay-per-view is what's tr struggling altogether. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the prices are too high. Maybe people are, are, are unhappy with the product that they're getting, you know, with the lackluster performances by these stars that they pay big money for and anticipate a great show, you know, to be entertained. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of factors, man. But I think that this constant banter going back and forth on, on who's selling and who's not selling, I just think it's inconsequential. But, you know, some people these days with social media, you know, hating pays, you know what I'm saying? Hating pays and whatever the truth is, I'll let y'all decide, but it just came out today uh, and contrary to what uh, some people have been saying, because I've seen numbers saying that Tank versus Frank did lower than 100,000. I've heard 150,000. You know, I heard a quarter, a quarter million, which is 250. Now I'm hearing upwards of that, you know, at 325 to 350, which is not bad for uh, Tank versus Frank at all, you know, especially with David Benavides of Osdick as a co-main event supporting it. So, if that is true, that's pretty good. If it's not true, then, you know, maybe we need to reconsider some things because, you know, they need to figure out, you know, the, the, the current structure of boxing, you know, maybe boxing is, uh, is, is, is getting some recompense for overcharging for a lot of fights, maybe, you know, or, or maybe this, the whole business model has to be restructured. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that, uh, Dan Raff what Dan Raphael is reporting is fake? Do you believe what the other numbers are, the lower numbers? What do you believe? You know, I'm curious to know. And, and, and if so, why do you believe that? What, 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 um, what supporting evidence do you have to believe the higher numbers or the lower numbers because I typically just believe what I see as far as you know the reputable sources and I think Dan Raphael he's always been very reputable is he though since you've been with ESPN you know I met him actually in person at the dang when I had to sit down with him a long time ago man I want to say it was at the Tim Bradley Pacquiao fight that I attended in Vegas I want to say the I don't remember which one it was. Was it the second one? I think it was the second one, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, and then I met him another time at the uh, Floyd and Conor McGregor fight. You know, I didn't actually attend that fight. Uh, I went to the P Tim Bradley Pacquiao fight, but I didn't go to the Floyd and Mayweather fight, but I was actually in Vegas for the fight, for the festivities, because it was jumping. But I didn't actually go to the fight, because that fight was pricey, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and I already knew the outcome, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we could do anything. Without God, we are nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. Catch y'all on the stream.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.